like we always do at this time. What up, y'all? First of all, I was sitting up here, I was watching this video for Flag on the Play. So, hold on. It's my man Flag on the Play. He did a dope ass video on um on Dirk's father. And I think he I think he hit this shit out the ballpark. So what I need y'all to do is go over there to his channel. Check out the full video because I'm not gonna play his full video because I want y'all to go to his channel, Flag on the Play, and check and support this video because the video dope as hell. But check out what he's saying. And we're gonna listen up right now. And I'm gonna come in and I'm going to show y'all who the fuck is they talking about. And I'm gonna show you what happened to who they talking about. But ask yourself. Ask yourself. Is the person really dead or is it just a cover up for the person? Did the same person get little Dirk off of all his cases? Hmm. On the six-hour drive from Chicago's south side to the state prison in Vienna, where Hoover held court in a visiting room. These prison, these prison house meetings would come back to haunt Larry Hoover. Larry Hoover's gangster disciple street gang empire in Chicago started to crumble back in 94 when a top lieutenant flipped. But the most damaging evidence against Hoover came from tiny recording devices Hoover's unknowingly wearing on their person as they conversed with him inside the prison. They, they, they bugged the, uh, ID, the visitor ID badges worn by Hoover's lieutenants and listened to months and months of conversations in late 93, collected uh, an infinity of incriminating discussions about the day-to-day -day operations of the organization. Uh, and one of the main things on the wiretaps was that Hoover discussed implementing a formalized street tax for non-GDs engaging in criminal activity on the south side of Chicago. Um, Hoover wanted the profits from one day a week of all drug sales as tribute and instructed Gregory Shell to use violence as, if necessary to obtain it. This is a quote from Larry Hoover. Do a survey around town. I want to know what everybody is doing. Heroin, reefer, cocaine. Who's moving what? This is our land. We fought vandals on this land. Everybody is going to have to pay taxes, you know. That's just the way it is. You tell everyone if you have to start shooting, uh, then nobody makes any money. All I'm asking for is one measly day. Now, in the months before the indictments came out in Operation Headache, which was the code name of the DEA takedown of the gangster disciple hierarchy in and out of prison, was filed in August of 95, rumors were swirling about the pending case. And they were trying to figure out who was cooperating. And it was uh, the, the high up people they were cooperating was a guy named Charles Jello Banks and Daryl D. Blunt Johnson. Flag on the play, flag on the play. See, what had happened was I was patrolling these YouTube streets out here. <laughs> Yo, flag be on it, a, a flag. This is a dope ass video, bro. Um, I'm not going like I said, y'all. Y'all gotta go to his channel and check out the video, right? But let me show y'all who they talking about. Watch this. Now, what's fucked up is I'm gonna show you why Dirk father flipped on Hoover. Told on Hoover, set Hoover up because they was already telling. Listen, according to federal authorities, Dow Pop Johnson was a gang leader who acted swiftly and ruthlessly when he suspected he had been betrayed. Not long after he grew, after Johnson grew weary of Charles Jello Banks, one of his fellow gangster disciples, Banks was gunned down and the gang hit in 1995, according to authorities. Johnson, it turned out, was apparently right about Banks, who. F whom federal investigators had codenamed him CI3 for his role as a confidential informant. Prosecutors say Johnson ordered Banks kill him. If he did, he acted too late. Banks' inside information helped authorities get approval to tap Johnson's phone and in turn, those recordings will play a big role in Johnson's upcoming trial in Bank Slaying. As Johnson trial for the that killer and a second gang hit approaches with a trial date in October, a newly filed government document lay out the case against Johnson in the greatest details yet. So guess who told them all this information? You guessed it. Jello Banks, Jello Banks, Charles Jello Banks, 
Look at the last name, Banks, 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 Banks. So let me tell you something. These banks, they've been telling for a minute and working with the federal government for a minute to get themselves out of trouble. They place them in situations and in places so they can sit back and tell stuff. Just like they let Big Dirk dad out so you can get 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 them more information on Lavi Hoover so they can get him out of Chicago. They don't want Lavi Hoover to stay in Chicago. I'm not sure since this interview here, they moved him yet. His half his trial came. I'm not really sure. But I see people fighting for him, like Jay Prince, Kanye West. But ask yourself this, these big rich figures is fighting to get Hoover out. How the fuck did his man that had life get out? Cause whatever law that they made that got him out, why they couldn't make the same law to get Hoover out? Because they let them out to do what they're doing. So someone seen Cello Banks standing outside, he gave somebody a dap hug, whatever. Somebody ran up from behind and shot him and killed him. Now this is allegedly Dirk's people. So this let you know. Dirt come from a long line of AKA, I'm telling. With my water gun with holy water in it. And Mr. No Lacking. Oh shit. Technical cut, technical. What this man just say? Oh, we. Did he just say banks, folks? Oh. Oh, hell no. Yeah, flag. He said Banks. Charles Jello Banks. That's that's probably Dirk's father's brother, younger brother. He was young at the time. He was trying to get his brother out of jail. And they were setting up Lavi Hoover. And listen, I'm going to let you hear what Dirk's father said through Flag on the Play. Shouts out to that boy Flag on the Play. If you're not a subscriber to Flag on the Play, please go over there and hit that man motherfucking subscribe. And then hit that thumb up on his video because this shit goes in. And I can't play his whole video, man. Y'all got to go to him and check it out. No, technical. Now, the man... That was with that 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 was testified. So the informant was Jello Banks. I told y'all who Jello Banks is. That's my little son over there being bad, y'all. Hold up. So on November the fourth, the same jury imposed the death penalty on Johnson. Found him guilty on November the fourth for ordering the slaying of Dow Blunt Johnson, who was not related to the defendant, Charles Jello Banks. So no matter what happened, even though they killed him, the evidence that he gave and they put, they, they put up, he still went down. But ask yourself, who else played a part in this? Who else cooperated to get Big Dirk out of, out of jail? Then I heard somebody from Chicago was like, oh, people wanna be us? If I see one grown person, one grown person in fucking Chicago, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you is a old grown person on here talking about, oh, we the king of drill music, and motherfuckers is dying, you're part of the problem. And, 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 and I'm gonna leave it right there. I don't give a fuck who take offense to that because you know why? I see ain't no, I see certain people not holding nothing back. So I have no problem on holding nothing back neither. And I'ma say this shit for real. Just like Charleston White said, nigga, if you killing the mother, if you killing our motherfucking people, fuck you. And if you sitting up there talking about when New York got drill rappers, nigga, come on now. Niggas been talking about that shit. That ain't nothing new. Motherfucking Coogee Rap was a drill rapper. What are you talking about? But at the end of the day, when it got to Chicago, it was so small. Y'all was all on one fuck two, a fucking couple of scripts that they made y'all become enemies. So please don't take that shit as a fucking trophy or an award. That shit need to be stopped. That shit need to be stopped and you grown people need to stop that shit. Don't fucking, don't, don't indulge them to kill each other. Or just, oh, oh. Hey, oh, 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 this nigga over here dissing drill rapper sauce. He's smoking. Nah, nah, nah. 
whoever disrespecting dead people from New York, Chicago, DC, Detroit, Georgia, any fucking way, fuck you. I'm sorry. And just like I was trying to say about FBG Duck, yeah, he was a fucking drill rapper. But when you go back and you listen to Chicago Legends, it lets you know that he had other things going on besides drill rap. He had regular raps too. And, and, and just because he fucking said a couple of raps and diss people, what does that make him a drill? That made him a drill rapper? He was against the shit because he see that his people was dying. And now you got people out here trying to carry the torch. And then you got all these young dudes over there dying. And people talk, oh, they mad because they not us. No. We listen here. The same way people could talk about what happened in with Young Thug down in Georgia. The same way people could talk about what happened to Mo 3. The same way people could talk about what happened to goddamn the Migos, whoever they decide to talk about. They could talk about what happened to Young Dolph. Everywhere all across the world. Please don't exempt Chicago and think that, oh, you're special because somebody did a video talking about Chicago. We are here trying to make a difference. If that ain't what you're doing, you're part of the problem. I don't want my son to be a drill rapper. I would never allow my kids to be a drill rapper. I would never sit back and laugh while my son tells somebody to suck his dick or tell his dead friends to give him head. Never will be my persona. I'm a father first. I'm a parent first. I will never ever sit down and laugh and be like, that's cool. I'm going to tell him. Somebody's going to kill you for that, bro. You need to chill the fuck out. You got one life to live. I think you should be living it and not on here making enemies. And that's what I would have told my child. I would have never said, like, oh, that's dope. Now, back to the fucking video. Right. Now, I want you to listen to Dirk Banks. Walking up the stairs to go through the doors, the feds was coming out the door, and they grabbed me right then and there. They took me to another side door, right out the back, behind the building, into a car, and shot me down there on Van Bruin to the federal court building. They put me in this interrogation room, and it was a couple of agents. They put me in this interrogation room, and it was a couple of agents in there. It was the U.S. attorney in there, and they said, listen, because I have a driver who brought me there and dropped me off at the front of the place. He wouldn't park the car. They said, listen, don't nobody know that we got you right now. No one. Know that we got you right now. No one front of the place. He wouldn't park the car. They said, listen, don't nobody know that we got you right now. No one. They said, we'll put you right back on 26 and your driver don't even know you going already. We'll put you back on 26 if you give us Larry Hoover. Put you back on 26 if you give us Larry Hoover. We'll put you back on 26 if you give us Larry Hoover. And I feel like that's what was done. Larry Hoover was given up. Now ask yourself, you got Jay Prince, big money fucking Jay Prince. You got goddamn Kanye West, who just gave away 50 million, with no problem. Why can't they get Larry Hoover out? Why can't they get Larry Hoover out? But this man had life and he got out? He told you that. They said if he worked with the people, he could get right back out. Okay. Code name Jello Banks. I hope Charles. I want to know who the fuck know Charles Jello Banks. I want to know who know this man, cause this could be Charles Jello Banks we looking at right here on the screen. I so said what? So you give a give. Gold already. We'll put you back on 26 if you give us Larry Hoover. I said, What? So you give us Larry Hoover, we'll put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. Larry Hoover, we'll put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. I went him up, we'll put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. 
we'll put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. Man, shouts out to my boy Flag on the play. Shouts out to Trenches News. Shouts out to Audio Crack. Shouts out to Janiah Johnson. Shouts out to motherfucking Spill Erica. Spill the tea. Spill the tea with Erica. Shouts out to goodness gracious. This list can keep going. Marco Vasquez. Shouts out to that boy Spacezilla, the beat gorilla. I ain't shot you out in a minute, Spade, but I didn't forget you, my brother. Um, you know. Trap house, all them other, all them big motherfuckers doing their thing. AK, whoever. Shouts out to everybody, man. Let's get it. Now, I want you. This, this is all allegedly for educational entertainment purposes only. Right. All right. Yes, this is all allegedly for educational purposes. I'm not saying that this man did all this stuff. I'm just alleging, allegedly. This man had life in prison with no possibility of parole. Right. He was supposed to never, ever see the light of day. He got life with no parole. Do you hear me? So, also, he was selling drugs, allegedly. So, he did do 25 years. That could have been for the drugs, but he could have had life, meaning never getting out. So he cooperated to get the 25 years because they wanted to give him life. They gave him life. But since he cooperated, and I guess he got the big time Lori Lightfoot to go down there and put her John Hancock on them papers, all is well, raise hell, let him out the cell. Unless, allegedly, you help us, allegedly. Can you give us Larry who will win the... Oh, that tech, allegedly, Say tech. What? Can you give us Larry who will win put you back on 26 and you'll work for us? I went in my pocket, poured out the car to my lawyer, spent it on the table, and said, call my lawyer. Hell no, technical cut. This is technical. Flag on the play. My play. Nobody makes any money. All in and out of prison was filed in August of 95. Rumors were swirling about the pending case. And they were trying to figure out who was cooperating. And it was uh, the, the high up people they were cooperating was a guy named Charles Jello Banks and Daryl D. Blunt Johnson. Jello. Banks, Jello Banks, and Jello Banks was a young nigga. Will be about Dirk age right now, but they said he died. Did he die, or is we looking at Jello on the screen right now? Could it be the dad, or could it be the son? Hmm. Could that be a code name, allegedly? Mm. Yep. Sound a lot like Dirk Banks, right? Mm. Hold on. Technical. We're swirling about the pending case, and they were trying to figure out. Wait, hold on. Let's be one. To pay taxes, you know, that's just the way it is. You tell everyone if you have. What if Dirk is a made up person that they don't fucking put plastic surgery on to look like that? That's why he don't look like the dad or the mama. What if they did plastic surgery on Dirk and Dirk is really this person, Cello? And Dirk is older than what we think he is, a little bit older than what we think he is, and that's not really his real face. Hmm. Flag on that play. We have to start shooting, uh, then nobody makes any money. All I'm asking for is one measly day. Now, in the months before the indictments came out in Operation Headache, which was the code name of the DEA takedown of the gangster disciple hierarchy in and out of prison, was filed in August of 95, rumors were swirling about the pending case. And they were trying to figure out who was cooperating. And it was uh, the, the high up people they were cooperating was a guy named Charles Jello Banks and Daryl D. Blunt Johnson. And they. It so. And the guy that they was trying to get the whole time that they was setting up, they got him with the murder of the guy that 
since the other charges ain't really stick, right? They got him with the murder of killing the witness. Ain't that a bitch? If you guys didn't catch that, his name was Jello Banks, and he was a informant for the federal ever the government. Getting uh, uh, who was corroborating? He wasn't in federal. He. <clears throat> He was an informant for the federal government. And it was uh, the, the high up people they were cooperating was a guy named Charles Jello Banks and Daryl D. Blunt Johnson. And they ended up getting uh, uh, executed in an effort uh, to clean up loose ends. So mysteriously, the two snitches ended up disappearing to clean up loose ends. Both of them disappeared. One supposed that got killed in the hit that they charged that man for. And Jello, we don't know where Jello at. What if Jello is Dirk? Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Allegedly. Johnson and Banks had been arrested in the same 1994 drug case. Uh, Banks was a high-ranking Hoover lieutenant in the streets, and his work with the DEA was the... So, let's just say, if, if, if the Jello Banks dude was an informant, and his cover was blown, could he be in... I ain't gonna say too much, but couldn't he be somewhere safe? He's going deep cover, yeah, and it don't stop, cause it's 187 on an undercover cop, yeah, and it don't stop, cause it's 187 on an undercover cop. Right, allegedly. Final nail in Hoover's proverbial coffin, making sure he'd never see the light of day again. D. Blunt, John, D. Blunt Johnson's attorney reached out to prosecutors. Hold on, folks. Did, did, did little Dirk family member have something to do with Hoover? Mm. Mm. On Hoover being locked up? Yeah. Never <laughs> in the streets and his yeah. work with the DEA was the final nail in Hoover's proverbial coffin, making sure he'd never see the light of day again. D. Blunt, John, D. Blunt Johnson's attorney reached out to prosecutors... Hold on, folk. Did, did, did little Dirk family member have something to do with Hoover? On oh, Hoover being locked up? Yes, he was trying to stay evidence on him. The big guy that was running this shit for Hoover is the guy who put the head on both of them, allegedly. And killed both of them They charged the guy that was working for Hoover That was running the organization outside They charged him with the killing That's how the GDs crumbled mm. Mm. The banks crumbled the GDs They're not mm -mm -mm. Did Jello Banks have And you wonder why Dirk don't like GDs so bad right His dad run the GD His dad was a <sighs> Allegedly Allegedly his dad was a plant to take down the GDs, and it worked. Anything to do with, well, he said he was an informant with the government. The little Dirk family have Hoover locked up. They won't let her mouth. Locked up. They won't let her mouth. Up. Oh, no, no. They won't let her mouth. Little Dirk family got overlocked up. They won't let him out. Uh, they won't let him out, no. They won't let him out. Oh, shit. A flag. You see, we sound dope together, bro. I did that, didn't I? We sound dope. We just killed that song. Say, yo, that's me and Flag on the play. I'm locked up version, y'all. So go check that out on Spotify. <laughs> Is Little Dirk family member the reason why Hoover locked up Contactical? Yup. And you wonder why Dirk don't like Kanye like that. 
Remember they even they even tried to come together. But when he found out that Kanye was repping Hoover, and, and I swear to God, I feel like he was going to set Kanye up. That's why Kanye distanced himself from Little Dirk. Cause Kanye know what time it is. And I feel like when Kanye went out there and talked to goddamn Donald Trump, Donald Trump told him that nigga is a government agent. He worked for the da da da. That's why Kanye was so different when he came out of it, cause so much shit. Just like he knew Jay Z had the feds working for him. Trump sat right there and told him that day. Jay Z got the tra- that lady. She's the fed. We finna we finna get her a pardon, cause she's the feds. Don't no charges stick on her. Little Wayne got pardoned. Don't no charges stick on him. Kodak Black got pardoned. Ain't no charges stick on him. All those people work for those people to me. I don't care what they try to say, cause you know what? I've been getting in trouble since goddamn the '80s, and I ain't never get pardoned for nothing yet in the hood. Why did he go to the hood and snatch out Lil Wayne out of New Orleans, out of all them goddamn criminals that need to be out of jail from goddamn from C murder on down? He picked out of all the people in New Orleans and got Lil Wayne. Got dangled Lil Wayne in the air, boom, and now every all the rappers is going down with federal indictments. He reached down in Miami, stuck his hand down in Miami, bloop, and plucked out Kodak Black. I don't know what the fuck Kodak Black doing, but y'all know one thing. Did y'all peep one thing? You see how Jack Boy fell all the way back? Cause Jack Boy know that he worked with them people. He tried to show all y'all in that video when he was sitting up in the chair. I'm sipping on my radars. My niggas coming through it, got my radars. My niggas don't you doing all that extra. That shit. Look at that video from Jack Boy when he was sitting up in the chair. And he, he kicked out of the, the sniper gang slippers and started running in his socks. Like, fuck them sniper gangs. He was telling y'all then fuck them. He had Kodak Black on the phone talking shit. He was looking at the phone like, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, nigga, you work with them people. All them people that you see, and all those people got knowledge of what's going on and who's who and who's who. Like, remember that that time? Kodak Black was like, tell Lil Wayne I wanna fight him. Notice he never spoke Lil Wayne name again. Never ever again. Because you know what they found out? Both of y'all work with us, man. We can't have y'all out there fighting each other. Y'all both work with us. And I guarantee they all sat down in the office together. Wayne, that's why his hair fell out, because it's driving him crazy. He got BG locked up. He got Turk locked up. That nigga even got C Murder bagged up and probably up in that bitch. I'm telling you, all them niggas, and that's why everybody in Georgia getting bagged out the world. Boom, 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 boom. Look. Every time 100 Track K come around, and that's how I feel like 100 Track K and Kodak Black got that connection because they work with them people. Sorry. A, a, a plea deal, uh, but he was killed before they could finalize it. Now, oh, shit, it's registered. Uh, executed in an effort uh, to clean up loose ends. Johnson oh, the gangster shit. disciple hierarchy in and out of prison was filed in August of 95. Rumors were swirling about the pending case, and they were trying to figure out who was cooperating. And it was uh, the, the high up people that were cooperating was a guy named Charles Jello Banks. And we, like I said, that's Dirk people. I feel like that was Dirk father, little brother. Or what if that was even Dirk? Like I said, Dirk don't even look like a real person. See that they got other people that looks just like Dirk. Cause it's a fucking, it's a goddamn, it's a maker. Like they made his face look like that. I feel like his face is fake. That's why he looks so young. He don't go face your hairs, none of that. Cause the nigga had plastic surgery And I feel like Dirk probably is Charles Jello Banks And this is your boy Costa Don Shouts out to my boy Flag on the play for the video Another one, dope But y'all gotta go watch his video Cause I'm telling y'all bro He on here killing their asses And when I say he on here killing them Bro on here killing them on this video So you got to go check the video And when you do Let him know that Costa Motherfucking Don Sancho Here go the name of his video channel So don't nobody get it Mr. Scooter Black Oh I didn't know the channel Here you go right here I can blow it up I can blow it up So we can throw it up You know You know You know See they try Oh there you go There you go right there Flag on the flag See that shit? There we go right there. Go check out the video, y'all. You will like that shit. Leave a comment down below. Let me let me know what you think on this video. Um, I wanted to watch more, but like I said, he put in work on this bitch. It's a 40-something minute long video. A flag. Start hitting them bitches out with the premiere. Put them out on the premiere. 
so it can give it could let people know that it's dropping, get people time to come and check out the channel and shit. But yo, it's your boy Costa Don, man. Thank you to everybody. Shouts out to all the people who rock with my channel, all my subscribers. Much love. Thank you. Without you, that would be no me. Without me, you won't be hearing my voice. You dig? So without that, without with that being said, I mean, I'ma salute you. I would hate to shoot you. Peace.